Hello guys, so today I have a fun video for you, products I've used up. So I've got a few empties this month, uh, let's get started. The first one is a shower uh, product, it's a shampoo, Bedhead by TG. Uh, dumb blonde. Uh, I've heard a lot of people on YouTube just um, talking about this this shampoo, how great it was. First times I used it, it gave me body and I felt my hair was really looking good. But in the end, uh, as as I kept using it, it made my hair very heavy and my hair is thin, so it wasn't a nice voluminous effect. It was just heavy. And uh, will I buy this product again? Probably not. It is not paraben free. If you look into the ingredients, it's full of paraben. And I've read some some things about parabens and why they are used in the cosmetic industry. It's not proven yet, but they found some traces um, in breast uh, breast cancer. They had traces of paraben. It's not linked 100%, but I don't want to use paraben if I can avoid it now. Even on drugstore and supermarkets, you can get shampoos paraben free. So. This one, I will not buy it again. Um, more shower products. Uh, this one is a sample that my mom gave me from Jo Malone. Very, very nice luxury brand from London. This one's grapefruit. It's a body and hand wash. Um, very, very nice. The smell is amazing. It's super fresh. Uh, it is so true that it, now I got the, um, the body lotion of the same smell, uh, grapefruit. I didn't buy the, um, the body wash because it's, it's kind of pricey. So to put a lot of money into a body wash, I, I just didn't feel it was right. Uh, so I got the, um, the body lotion. Very, very good product. If you don't know it, go check it out. They have amazing smells. And um, the names of the smell are really true to what they really are supposed to smell. If you want some jasmine, you, you will get the product and it really smells like a field of jasmines, if you can say it that way. Um, the second sample from Jo Malone is this one. It's Orange Blossom Body Cream wonderful super hydrating it's more hydrating of course than the body lotion uh, it is as well pricey so i got i i made the, the choice to get the body lotion i didn't get the cream but again if you like something to to really hydrate your skin the body cream is amazing you really put it on and you feel your skin super soft and it really absorbs um the let's say the hydration. Um, orange blossom is very good it's not a smell that i would buy but um it was nice to try and very, very fresh. So good, I did empty it up. And the fun thing about Jo Malone, I'm gonna do a little video of the three products I bought, but it's like you mix the smells and then you create smells of your own. Like you get a body lotion and a perfume and you can mix it up and you create a totally different smell plus with uh, the reaction it has on your skin. But I'll do a video on it. Um, now moving on to something which is not actually bath or shower, nothing like that. It's Bath and Body Works uh, Mango Margarita. This is a hand um, sanitizing gel, like the antibacterial gel. I love the antibacterial um, collections by, by Bath and Body Works. It's nice, it's small, you put it in your purse, you're good, it's on the go. You need to clean your hands and you've got it right there. So it's a very, very good product. Uh, luckily I have some more because um, I live in Italy and we don't have Bath & Body Works here, but I've got uh, some, some left, luckily. So another product that I have always on the go, always in my purse, is the hand cream by L'Occitane. This one is she butter. Uh, nice, small, and the perfect uh, hydration for your hands. I don't like to have something greasy on my hands because then you need to use it to grab things and, uh, and manipulate objects and I hate the sensation of greasy. This one hydrates but does leave your hands greasy. So I'm very faithful to this hand cream. Very, very good. It's not the first time I empty one of them. Now moving on to makeup. Um, I've got my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This one came with a naked palette. I was very happy to try it because a lot of people talk about it on YouTube, how great the Primer Potion is and all of that. Uh, will I buy it? No, because I am 
I didn't find uh, my eyeshadows will stay in place all day long so it's nice but I wouldn't purchase that I prefer the MAC prep and prime um, I didn't mention in another video I prefer that as a as an eye primer this one was nice to try though but I will not purchase that then uh, my bronzer I spoke about this bronzer already it's the terracotta uh, by Guerlain this is number two I don't know how many I've emptied oh, I've hit pan like here I've got some product left but uh, my brush just cannot go and grab it uh, this is the best bronzer ever I mean um, once you try it you remain faithful to this one so um, very very nice product if you haven't tried try it it's more than 10 years that I use it and I will not exchange with anything else for bronzer it looks very natural it looks like you've got a suntan without being too artificial like you put on a ton of makeup you know it doesn't look like that it's a very nice natural look uh, let's make a product it's bifacil oh let's see if it focuses it's a Lancome makeup eye makeup remover you see it's like one of those that you shake and then you get the product it is a little bit greasy for the eyes I don't um, I don't like that sensation I always have to wash my, my, my eyes right away because it does stay crazy even though it does it says non oily it is a bit oily uh, I did buy the Galate Douceur which is this one this one is almost empty as well and this one is for face and eyes so I use this one I don't need to I usually bought the two and this one for the eyes but I will stop buying this one and just keep the Galate Douceur um, so this is pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give your thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys soon bye